Hi there, my name is Alex, and today I'll be showing you how to properly install your brake free onto the back of your helmet. To begin, what we'll need is just five things. You'll need your helmet, you'll need an alcohol wipe, you'll need a brake free unit, installation template, and your helmet mount, as well as some basic tape. You may also refer to the quick start guide that could be found inside your packaging for reference. All of these things are located in the brake free packaging. So let's begin. To properly install your brake free onto your helmet, you will first need to locate a great spot for your brake free mount to fit onto the back of your helmet. So for the first thing we need to do is without removing the plastic piece of the mount, that's covering up the adhesive, we need to place, just place the mount onto the back of your helmet right along the center line and find a great spot where the brake free mount makes great contact with the back of the helmet. It's very important to find a spot where there's no gaps or as little gap as possible between the helmet mount and the helmet. So what we will do is move the helmet mount up and down the center line of the back of the helmet, just like so. So on my helmet, looks like the mount sits perfectly right about there. Now that I've found a good spot for the helmet mount, I will want to open up the alcohol wipe to make sure that the helmet surface is nice and clean. It's very important to also be installing the helmet mount indoors at room temperature and make sure that the helmet itself is not wet. So here we got the alcohol wipe and we're just going to go ahead and wipe down the back of the helmet just to make sure that it's nice and clean. There's no debris, no adhesive, no stickers or anything that's in the way. Okay. Now that the helmet is clean, we will move on to the next step. The next step will be to use the installation template. The installation template is the exact same size as your brake free. So it will give you a really good idea of where your helmet mount and how the brake free will sit on your helmet. So we've determined that the helmet mount will fit perfectly right around here. So what I will do is I will place the installation template right around there and I will use these reticles to line it up and make sure that it's nice and centered. You also want to make sure that the brake free itself is not going to be hanging over the back of the helmet. You'll want it to be sitting solidly on the inside of the helmet right here. So what I mean is you don't want your brake free to be like this or off to the side by any means, or too high up on the helmet because then it will be shining upwards and won't be as visible as if it was shining directly back. So as you can see, right about there would be perfect for the brake free on the Shoei RF1200. It might be a slightly different location for your specific needs. So make sure you find a great spot for your helmet mount. Don't skip this step. As you can also see, the template itself has a cutout line right over here. So if you'd like, you can make this cutout smaller and just cut along the dotted line to make the template be more representative of the brake free. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up on the back of my helmet. I will now take some tape tape the edges of the template onto my helmet just like so and I'm going to just adjust it just so that it's perfectly centered on the helmet okay so here's what we got now we're going to be placing the helmet mount 
onto the helmet. It actually looks like it's just a little bit off center. I'm gonna just adjust it one more time. Okay, perfect. Now that we're ready, I'll go ahead and peel off the adhesive plastic on the back of the helmet mount. Like this. And now that we're ready, I'll go ahead and place my helmet mount onto the helmet. There's a perfect cutout right here for the helmet mount. So I will go ahead and line it up just perfectly here. And now that I've placed it, I'm gonna go ahead and use both my fingers to press it down nice and firm for about 60 seconds to make sure that the mount gets good adhesion to the helmet. All right now, so after about 60 seconds of pressing it on nice and tight, we can go ahead and let go of the helmet mount and remove the installation top template from the helmet. And so there you have it. The brake free mount is now installed and nice and secure on the helmet. Now what we need to do before we go ahead and install the brake free onto the helmet is we need to give it about two hours in order for it to cure completely onto the helmet. In actuality, 3M recommends that we leave the helmet mount on the helmet for about 12 hours or more in order for it to have 100% adhesion. So the longer time you can leave it on there before you install the brake free onto the helmet, the better. So let's go ahead and just set the helmet down for now and give it a little bit of time. All right, now two hours later, we're ready to install brake free onto the helmet for the first time and we'll be ready to ride. So all we need to do is just line up the mount cutout on the back of the brake free with the helmet mount and apply downward pressure. So now we've located it on the helmet mount and we push it down. Now we hear a nice little click and we know that the brake free is now installed on the helmet. It's nice and secure. We can remove the brake free by pushing up on brake free and now you can take it off and put it back on again. But now you're ready to ride. 